So, number one, do you need a records release to send records to another provider? No. You have not since 2013. You do not need a signed records release to send a patient's record without their consent to another provider. If they've revoked consent, naturally you can't send it, but very few people will revoke consent. However, a signed records release is not required to send a patient's records to another dental office. So if a dental office calls you and says, hey, Tom Smith is coming to our office, whether it's a specialist you referred to or another general dentist who the patient is just switching, you don't have to have a signed release from the patient in order to send those records to another provider. You have to do your due diligence. You have to make sure they are actually another provider, that they are actually a doctor. But once you've done that, you do not need a signed release to send the patient's records to that other provider. If they got the records under false pretenses, if it is somebody's ex or, you know, there's some other tomfoolery going on, they have obtained those records under false pretenses, which is a criminal offense under HIPAA. And the person who actually requested them can be punished by up to 10 years in federal prison. So not something you want to mess with, but you do not have to have a signed records release to release records to another provider. Number one. Now, you can require in order for you to release records that the patient signs a release or gives you authorization. What you cannot do is restrict access to those records. So you cannot say you have to come into our office to sign this. That's not allowed. That would be considered restricting their access to their records. What if they've moved? What if they've worked? What if they don't have the time? Digital transmission is perfectly acceptable for a records release. So if you do want to be difficult for the time being and require a signed records release, you can, but you have to allow it to be either electronically transmitted, which means you email it to the patient, they sign it, scan it, and email it back. You, you can, or digital, meaning they can send you an email saying, yes, please release my records. Perfectly acceptable, but again, not required. A signed release is not required by HIPAA law anymore. Hasn't been since 2013. Number two, charging for records. You are allowed to charge your actual cost of duplication or $6.50 flat rate. That is the allowable federal fee. It supersedes all state laws. So what that means is if a patient comes in and they want their records printed out and handed to them, you are allowed to charge them your actual cost of duplication. Now, in order to do that, you have to know the breakdown. You cannot say it's a dollar per page. That is not okay anymore and hasn't been since 2018. We're going on three years now. There is no dollar per page, $5 search fee, $7 for x-rays. That's not the way it works anymore. You have to do your actual cost of duplication. So you need to know how much a piece of paper costs you to print out. And I guarantee you it's less than a dollar because I'm paying four one thousandths of a cent to the company that I lease my copier from at the office. 
So if they're charging me four one thousandths of a cent to print that paper, and then I pay, I don't know, three dollars for a ream of 500 pieces of paper, you're looking at under two cents a sheet of paper, actual cost. So in order to be able to charge the actual cost, you have to know what your actual costs are. Then you figure out how many pages it's gonna be. I, it cost me three cents a page, let's say, and it's 100 pages, that's $3. That's the fee. You're not allowed to flat rate anymore at a dollar per page or $2 per page, and you are not allowed to add search fees or research fees or records fees to any of them. So, actual cost of duplication or $6.50 flat rate, whichever you prefer, but if you're gonna charge the per page, you have to know what your costs per page are. Number two, when we talk about that, here's what you have to remember. When you are emailing records, your cost of duplication is zero. So if somebody wants their records emailed, their cost of, your cost of duplication is zero dollars because you are not allowed to charge them for encrypted email service that you have because that's considered a required business expense under HIPAA law and you're not allowed to charge a patient for it. So keep those things in mind. What I will say, my personal opinion here, I do not charge patients for records because if they go to this new dentist, they decide they hate it there and they wanna come back. If I gave them a hard time about their records, if I made their life difficult, they're not gonna wanna come back. So, sorry, somebody's blocking the road. So I don't charge for records because I want the patient to have a good experience and I want them to come back. So if for some reason somebody's transferring out, I will not charge for records because I want the patient to have a good experience and want to come back. So. The last thing we're gonna talk about is what if the patient owes you money? If the patient owes you money, you still have to release the records, no matter what. That fee we were talking about that you're allowed to charge, if the patient doesn't pay it, you still have to release the records. Let's say you took a pano, and this was the example in the group. You took a pano, you did it for free because it's part of your consult, now the patient wants the pano transferred out and you say, no, it's a $75 fee. If we're sending it out, it's $75 for the pano. You can't do that. That's illegal. And if somebody calls me and tells me that an office is doing that, I'm going to tell them to call the Office of Civil Rights and file a complaint against that provider because that's what you do. You cannot hold records because a patient hasn't paid you and if you charged zero dollars for an x-ray or for anything and the patient decides they want it transferred out, you cannot charge them when you already charged them zero dollars or considered it included in some other service. You can't do that, that's illegal. And like I said, anybody who calls me and says their provider is doing this, I'm gonna tell them to call the Office of Civil Rights and file a complaint. And in about a week, you're gonna get either a call, a letter, or a visit from the Office of Civil Rights. And for those of you who don't know, the Office of Civil Rights, that's the HIPAA police. That's the people who enforce the HIPAA laws, do audits, do inspections, do chart audits, look at your information, and believe me, you don't wanna deal with them. So release the records. If you took an x-ray for free and the patient wants it transferred out, transfer it out. That's the right thing to do. It's not going to leave a bad taste in the patient's mouth. It leaves an opportunity for that patient to come back. 
And that's what I want. I want everybody to feel comfortable in my office and doing business with my office. So I am here. Everybody have a great day. I will see you tomorrow.